Hey everybody, this is Pam from Nana's Crafting Cottage, back with you again today. I would like to welcome my new subscribers, and I am glad that you're here with us. And um, all my current subscribers who have been with me, I appreciate every one of you, everyone. So, today, Envelope Flapper. This is inspired by Joey DeFee. And I will link her channel below when I get this posted. Um, she is amazing. And she's been having health issues the last year. So she hasn't had any new videos out. But there's a ton of other videos that are tags, envelopes, uh, ways to use them. All kinds of things. Oh, I got a pinch in my neck. Woo. <laughs> anyway, these are made out of book pages. And it doesn't matter what size. As long as you have two large ones the same way, the same uh, size, and done the same way to make an envelope. And one medium and one small. So, what I thought I'd do today, I already had these made up in my stash. So, I'm going to interlock the two large ones. I'm going to put one inside the other one like this, so that it makes like a booklet. And then, um, what happens is this is positioned so it sticks out just a little bit. It opens like this and then the small one like this. Only I'm not going to put it um, inside this other envelope because I want to have room to put things in it. So I will put this probably right about here where the opening is for the uh, envelope underneath. So I think that will work out good because it's not going to be in the way of this flap here. Actually, that doesn't even matter. What matters is I get it just so, probably about quarter of an inch uh, maybe to half an inch sticking out. So, okay, so I'll get it there and then I'll put this here to line up the edge of it with the opening here. Yeah, so it'll close here, here, here. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and start gluing that together and I hadn't done these um, for quite a while and I thought well I have these in my stash I'm going to go ahead and um, get them made up. I have done them before and um, like you'll see on Joey's channel it's under envelope flapper and like I said I will link her channel and probably that video for you. Uh, she goes into big detail about how to make these envelopes if you don't have an envelope board. And I did make these by hand. Made them so that they were the same because I wanted to make more of them. It was so much fun when I made uh, one or two of them a long time ago. And anytime I need to uh, remember or know how to do an envelope, um, I go to Joey's channel because, yeah, she's amazing. Okay, now I need to get this folded, get it creased. There we go. Okay. Get it creased here so it will bend properly. Get my. There we go. Okay. 
Okay, so there's that part. Okay, and I'm going to trim this a little bit more. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to put this together and then do some decorating. So I have my papers and such out and hopefully you'll stick with me and we'll see what these turn out like. Never know. Okay. And of course my forte is vintage so of course they're going to be vintage. I have a whole bunch of stuff sitting out here for um, doing that. And I have papers chosen here for covering. Now Joey didn't go into a whole bunch of uh, covering and decorating. She used mainly book pages or music page and then put like birds on it and stuff. They came out gorgeous. So yeah, I hope you guys go over there and check her channel out because um, it's amazing. We call her the the pocket queen because <laughs> she does tons of various pockets, envelopes, tags, you name it. And that would really help in supporting her uh, through this time. So she is kind of starting getting back into the crafting part. I noticed she's been sending some things out, but... Um, I don't think she's quite ready to get back, <clears throat> pardon me, get back into the videos yet, which is sad. I miss her. <laughs> so I just keep watching her, her videos over and over again. Why not? And that helps support her. Okay. Make sure I don't have any extra glue on the bottom. All right. So you just stick that down right there. So it's sticking out about quarter of an inch or so, maybe a little bit more. And then this page will end up right here. So it'll go here and then here and then here. So here, here, and here. All right, so we'll put this on. I thought this would be kind of a fun thing to do today. Um, or for Saturday. I am filming this just a day ahead. This is Friday. And been busy, busy, laundry, getting a haircut, me, you know, all the usual things. <laughs> all the usual things. Taking care of my chickens. In fact, I let them out to the grassy area, which is just right outside my front window here. And I could tell they're having a good time out there kicking stuff and yeah. <laughs> they haven't been able to get out very much because of the weather. Okay, I got it glued together. Woohoo. All right. Now I thought ugh, for the um I gotta get this so I can keep it running here. All right. Um, I thought I would use get some of this stuff out of the way. This paper out of I don't know how you pronounce it, Theodosia Square or Theodosia Square. It's all vintage papers, and it's one-sided, which is absolutely perfect. But I thought I would cover the front and the back with that. So I will get my ruler out so I can ugh, tear the paper where I want it. So first of all I'm going to get a torn edge going on here. It'll just be a small one. It doesn't have to be a real yeah real big. Okay, here we go. 
least get it started as being torn and then all I have to do is just two more edges. So I hope you guys are having a good day. Like I said, we've been having rain today and that wasn't even on our weather prediction, you know, on our on my phone. So I have no idea where it came from. <laughs> it showed nothing about it. So don't know. Oh, come on now. Come on now. All right. And we just got our taxes done and got my the last taxes of my mom's done and so it's kind of eh, yeah um kind of hard to get through it was yesterday that we picked him up and then I fell apart because the gal that works there um oh I remember your mom and um you know back before her dementia and and before we had to take her in and you know because she had no other place to go, of course. And, um, yeah, it was, it was tough. And so I ended up falling apart. And she goes, oh, I'm so sorry I upset you. I said, no, it doesn't take much. Doesn't take much. Nope. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Just is what it is right now and will be for a while, I think. Doing, you know, pretty good. Um, just have those days, and that's all there is to it. Okay, so let's do this. And I have this little piece here that's bugging me. Okay, I'm going to do it this direction. Maybe it'll... Thank you. Cooperate. All right. Now, what to... Um, this. I'm going to get it as close as I can, but not completely to the edge. And then I will ink the edge. Um, of the envelopes. I just need to try and get them straight, which would be nice. Golly, it's kind of, as they say, fiddly here. <laughs> okay. All right. Yeah, I think that's I think that's good. So anyway, we had our taxes done, got that over with for another year. And let's see, what else? We haven't really been much, been doing much of anything. Um, just kind of here at home and the weather's, you know, kind of yucky, so it kind of puts a damper on whether you feel like going out anywhere or not. Yeah, that'll be a little bit smaller. So I'll do that one separate. I thought I could do um, the same size, but I can't. So there we are. Okay, there's that piece. So what I will do is distress the edges with ink. And I'm going to do it with the new color Scorched Timber. If you haven't gotten this color, um, yeah, Scorched Timber, Distress Oxide, um, it is a really, really neat color. I really like it. Um, I think it's one of his better browns that Tim Holtz has put out. Um, yeah, it's really, really kind of a pretty, pretty brown. Um, and it looks like scorched timber, <laughs> that color. But yeah, it's, I've been having a lot of fun using it. 
and I like the oxides because I like to sometimes um, spray it with water so there we go okay am I off a little bit probably am folding wise let's see here it just feels like I'm a little bit off but maybe it's just me Maybe I'm just off. I don't know. Yeah. Okay. All right. I just will do the whole thing, right? Holy cow. Not quite with it. I normally do these videos in the morning when I'm a lot fresher. <laughs> but it's afternoon and... Um, by that time, I'm kind of ready to just stop. <laughs> I had to think of my words there. I'll probably put some lace or something on here. Actually, yeah, it doesn't really matter because it's on the back, but um, I'll see when I get to that point. Okay. So this is like this. So hopefully I've measured the right size, the right side. Sorry. Can't talk today. It's the afternoon. Yeah, I need to take off a little bit more there. And it's not exactly straight, so. Yeah, it's really. Oh, I'm really having a hard time today. Well, this is a do not do it this way video. How's that? <laughs> I think we all have those kind of days. Okay. Let's give this a go. Okay, that's much better. Now I will ink this. It's always a chore getting things covered um, on a project, to me anyway, but once that happens then you're you're on your way. On your way for decorating and such. So hopefully I can get this decorated too. I'm not guaranteeing anything, but um, we'll at least get it covered. And then maybe do another video to decorate it. How's that? And then it won't be such a long video today. We'll see. We'll see how I do. If I'm ready to call it quits, then <laughs> we'll get it covered and then we'll... We'll have another day to have fun with it. How's that? Alright. So that will go there. Right there. Okay. And it's raggedy taggedy. I, I don't care. It's it's vintage. That's that's what it is. It's vintage, so it's supposed to look kind of tattered and worn and old and yeah. So we will glue this around. I hope you guys are enjoying the videos I'm putting out. If you have any suggestions, if you have anything that you want to see me do, please leave a comment below. I answer my comments um, right away. So, um, yeah. Any suggestions of what you would like to see me make or whatever. Just give me a holler and I'll answer. Okay. Okay. 
Okay. All right. There's the front. And I wanted to also use that for the back. So I will do it here. Sing a little bit closer. Okay. And then pinch it right about there. That looks about right. All right. Take that off. And then we will do this part here. And I think right about there is where it's going to need to be if i can get this see i'll hold it up to the light and then i can see the red lines and line them up and then do this and let's see if that is okay yeah that seems to be all right. So, go ahead and do that. Okay. That and my scraps. All right. Yeah, that's pretty good. Pretty good. That one went just a little bit easier. <laughs> just a little bit easier. So, what are you guys doing? You uh, got any plans for the weekend? I know we don't. Typically Saturday and Sunday. Okay, Saturday we pretty well stay home because there's just too many people out running around doing what they have to do because they work and we're retired and we'd rather go when it's much quieter. And Sunday we go to church first thing in the morning. And we typically, um, sometimes we'll eat out, but most of the time we'll just grab something and come home and relax the rest of the time. Watch movies. I play in my craft room. Um, yeah, just that's a typical weekend for us. So, which, which is fine. I mean, it's comfortable for us. We don't mind being at home. We love our home. We've been here for, oh, going on 33 years? Wow. Um, yeah, and we're going to be celebrating our 37th anniversary next month. Hard to believe. Come on. Come on. There we go. It, the glue in the spout dries so fast that you can't hardly be fast enough for it. Okay. And I'm Finishing up the glue in that bottle, so um, I'm anxious to get a full one going. Okay, yeah, that's cool. All right, we got the outside done. Hooray! <laughs> okay, let's. Um, I'm going to close my glue up here. All right, now what will be, see these pages are going to be for the decorating part. I'm going to set those aside, get them out of the way, get my bone folder out of the way, 
and um, I thought what I would do is um, kind of combine both these kind of uh, vintage papers and this looks like a really vintage wallpaper. I really like that one. I'll show you what else I have. Here's another one with different ads on it that I thought was really neat. And then here are some strawberries, like a wallpaper. And another different ad one has come some reds and, and browns and blacks. And all of them have pretty much the same type of coloring in them. They all came from the same place. But yeah, here's some more. And it has little pieces of the papers that we're using. I thought was kind of neat. And then this one, this ad paper. So anyway, um, I think I'll grab this one and um, let me get some. And I had been using these for um, doing the edges of the papers in the signature, the pages in the signature. And, and oh, come on now. Come on now. Cooperate. Anyway, um, so I thought, well, I'll just keep using on these. We were in the stuck into the pad so I know where they came from. There's that. And and I like the entire paper on these, so I'm not fussy at, you know, what part of it I'm going to use. I'm not fussy about that at all. I like it all. All right. Now, this, we have to figure this piece. So, I'm going to turn it this way so I can show you guys better. I'll just get up close and then um, I'm gonna go hopefully my head isn't in the way <laughs> I'm gonna go right about here with it yeah that's really straight I'm shocked okay so I'll just make sure again all right so that part yes And I could do it with my ruler, but I like the kind of haphazard way it tears. <laughs> and then I'm not worried about these flaps. I can, I'll just be inking those. So let's get this part marked basically. Okay, and tear. There we go. A good scrap. Okay, and let's ink that part. So I will just ink this like that, and then it won't even matter. And then a little along here, and along here. But yeah, um, nothing, nothing other than the little bit that we've been doing around here. My husband has been um, doing different house projects, you know, re repair or not really so much repair because he keeps everything up. But, um, you know, just stuff that kind of needs attention repainting or what have you. So the winter is pretty pretty quiet around here. And with the weather the way it's been and and that we we just yeah. We don't worry about doing anything big. We've already done all our big things to the house. Whew. 
Yeah, we got our flooring done last August, and um, we are just loving it so, so much. Uh, we did all but our bedroom in the flooring, and then we did put a nice Berber carpet in our bedroom just to make it cozy and, you know, that's our, that's our hangout. <laughs> So, um, yeah, then, okay, we had a series of things go on. It was, okay, we were just finishing the flooring, getting it done. The dishwasher went out. So then we went ahead and got another dishwasher that we absolutely love because it's so nice and quiet. Um, got that, and then... We needed to get the roof done. My husband had guys come out and check it, and they said, yes, it's spongy in areas and needs to be done. So, okay. That's a huge, huge expense right there. Um, but while we were getting that done, then our washer went out, and we've had that set for, oh, several years. And um, it would, you know, cost more to get it fixed than, you know, get another set. Well, because of the area that we have our washer and dryer in, um, we can't just go out and just say, oh, yeah, I want that one. We thought we had one <laughs> picked out. We did until they came with the set and oh it's not going to fit here oh yay so let's return it and start hunting around and we hunted and hunted and hunted and we finally went to a store in another town close by an appliance store and they had the size of set that we needed for that spot Thankfully, nobody else did. <laughs> so, yeah, it's been quite interesting. But, um, yeah, so last year was an expensive year. And we're going to be paying on the roof for a couple of years. It's crazy how things are so darn expensive. Oh, my gosh. Things that you think, oh yeah, it's only going to be, a no, it's like two or three times that amount now. Nowadays, oh my word, but we were able to get it financed, thankfully, otherwise it would have been an absolute no-go. Um, we were tapped out after everything else going on, and um, yeah, so we... We don't have to have anything done to the house, anything major like that, for a long time. <laughs> if ever at all again, before we, you know, leave the house to the kids or, you know, whatever, anything happens to us or whatever. Anyway, let's not talk about that. Um, what I need to do is put a panel here. And let's see what kind of panel I want to put in here. Um, I think I will put this cherry one in here. So I will get some edges done on that. But yeah, so we're just kind of holding our breath. Hopefully nothing else will have to be done. But, I, you know, we've got really the major things taken care of, so I don't know what else there could be. Of course, anytime you say that, then something comes up, right? <laughs> That's our luck anyway. Yep. Okay, come on now. Don't be, don't be fussy. Don't be fussy. All right, that, and then let's get this edge done. 
Okay. It helps I have the, the right side. It's probably been my problem all along. You're probably sitting there, turn it around! Turn it around! Yeah, look, huh. Yeah. Hey, it's the afternoon. What can I say? We're early risers, no matter what time we go to bed. And so, um, yeah, by the afternoon, I am done, 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 and done. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and flip this up and get it measured. Okay. There. And put that in scripts. And then, and you don't want to go all the way to the edge here because that's where it's going to be folding. And so you don't want it to impede that. So you want to keep it as close to but not on that area. Okay, this is always tricky trying to get it straight. Huh. Huh. I think I think I did it. Okay, and I like torn edges, so there we are. Okay, yeah, that'll be good right there. Okay. And I'm just distressing as I go um, because that's how I operate. Because <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to need something more in one area than another. So I just wait until I see what I've got going on. Okay, and then... I want to, yeah, I had to put some washi here um, because it was a brittle page when I made the envelope, so I'll just distress it a little bit, but it's, it's, uh, it's washi in there, so it's no problem. I think I'll go ahead and distress this at the same time. Get that done. I've really been struggling with my motivation lately. Um, it's like I had crafter's block or something. I, um, I would come in and I think, oh, okay, I can plan this for whatever. And I would come in and I would look around and I go, no, not feeling it. So I um, haven't been able to get in here mu as much as I have wanted to. And, uh, yeah, so it's been kind of a nuisance for me because, you know, I haven't had that kind of issue for a long time. <clears throat> so I just, I just started small, and I think Joey Diffie has a, um, a video on that on you know your your crafting mojo your motivation and that is faltering and you're having a hard time getting back into it she says to start small start with um cutting papers cutting something out and so that's what i decided to do i cut out some um some of tim holtz's paper has the blocks of you know different things and that's what makes up the page so I cut some of those out um, and then I straightened up in my room 
because that was kind of bugging me. I had been working on the bee journal and everything just went bleh. So I had to, you know, just stop and take some time. And it wasn't much that I had to put away. It was just the fact that it was there that was bugging me. So um, I did that. So that was a small thing. And then watching videos always inspires me and brings up ideas. And that's how, you know, I, I have wanted to do this video. And I mentioned it in my last one because I have been going through a box full of stuff that needed to be finished. And like Gail Agustin and Allie, I, I don't have as much to finish that sh like she does. She said she has three big boxes. Well, I have a photo box, and I thought that was bad. <laughs> um, so I found these in there. I dug in it the other day, and I thought, well, I'm going to go ahead and work on this stuff. Why not? So that's how this came about for this video. And um, But yeah, it was a really neat uh, video on helping you get your mojo back, basically. I really enjoyed it. I remember watching it, and I remembered it from when I did watch it and used those tips to um, get, try and get back in the game, so to speak. So, and everybody goes through that at some point. But like I said, it had been a long time. And I know I'm still reeling from my mom's passing in December. Um, it'll be two months the 13th. So that's coming up. And I don't know if that, you know, maybe that has something to do with it. I don't know. But I have, you know, been thinking about her and my dad and all the stuff that we did after they moved up here. And... Um, my mom and dad and I uh, did a craft, a wood craft type little business and we'd go to bazaars and we had a blast with that because we did really well and it was good for my mom and dad and it was good for my dad because he cut all this stuff for us. Uh, he had go out and purchased the wood and you know, it was all from scratch. So what we did was a lot of a lot of handwork, you know, and I did the painting, you know, of the pieces, little faces and so forth. And I even took a class here uh, at a woman's home here in town many years ago to get down some techniques on doing that. And so that really helped out. And then it got to the point where I needed to go. I was off work at that time. I had taken off uh, due to various reasons. And um, so I needed to go back to work. My husband had been diagnosed with uh, colon cancer at that time. And when I had to leave to go back, you know, leave being home, doing all this for them uh, together, it, it made me so sad because I felt like I was leaving them in the lurch. Um, I did do stuff early in the morning and then after I get home, but it, it got to be so much. And then my dad got sick and then he couldn't do the cutting anymore. So then... Um, my mom ended up selling it to another crafter friend that we knew from bazaars. And she was into woodworking and that, and that's what we had. And so she bought pretty much all the stock that we had. Let's see here. Okay. So, ooh, it's coming along nice. All right. Um, yeah, so... Uh, she went ahead and bought some of our stuff 
and or a lot of our stuff and um yeah i think this one would be good so she took that and was able to use it for her business paint it her way and and so forth you know so um we had a ton of it we had a ton of it because we were it was full time for us um for a long time and it was really sad when it all had to finally just end so i've been thinking about stuff like that you know and the camping trips that we took because they had a fifth wheel we had a mini home and a boat at that time the kids were younger and um yeah i got to see some of Oregon we went to butcher gardens and stuff like that together and that was fun and the kids enjoyed that and it's just been a you know multiple things that I've been thinking about and um, yeah so it it um, it's been kind of sad lately um, thinking about you know all the stuff that we did and my dad's been gone for quite a while, since 2007, and yeah, so, you know, things change, and we did what we did because we enjoyed it. My dad got a kick out of it. He loved woodworking, and um, he always did. He, he even did a nice big huge cabinet and I have it in our we have it in our living room and I have all my family memorabilia in it and I thought what a neat way to keep it nice and um, our youngest boy uh, when he and his wife and and little girl our little granddaughter were here for Thanksgiving I was showing him some stuff out of there, and oh my gosh, he was just having a blast digging through it. Well, I was hoping that he would be able to dig through it some more when they were here for my mom's funeral, but things the way they were, um, we ha ended up having Christmas, you know, the whole family together, and made that a memorable time for everybody. So he didn't get to go through it anymore, but always there whenever they come back and I I have been sending him you know older pictures and and such of the family and he's been getting a charge out of those so but it's just stuff such as that that um, going through the pictures and uh, just kind of melancholy stuff I guess <laughs> I don't know what it is but it's just all the memories all the memories are surfacing big time and yeah like right now it's hard to talk about it so I better stop <laughs> but if you're like us we would love to have the kids you know um, know about their grandparents, great-grandparents, great-great-grandparents, you know, on down the line. And so sharing those old photos that um, uh, we have, you know, really helps with that. And a lot of the stuff, when they were real little, they don't recall. So telling them about that, where were we when, you know, in this picture and why did I used to wear that? And <laughs> oh my gosh, look at my hair or something, you know. Two boys, you know, and one of them has, well, they both have natural curly hair, but they both shave their heads because when they were in the military, they got pretty well used to it. And so they don't, they don't want to mess with it anymore. And I can totally understand because I have natural curly hair too. I got it from my dad. They got it from me. So... <laughs> There you go. <laughs> oh, I'm loving this, guys. Oh. Yeah, so 
it's taken me a while to get this covered, but we're going to finish covering it. And then, and then, we will come back. And on the next video, we will decorate it. And that is going to be a blast. So uh, when I post this video, I will uh, get you over to Joey's channel. I'll put a link in there for you. And it's the um, uh, envelope flapper. And um, yeah, if you want to look at that and see how she did it and um, but like I said you can use your you can do you know handmade ones like I did I just followed her her video it's very clear and or you can use an envelope board which I also have but I wanted to do it her way and um, yeah so it'll it'll be it'll be good it'll be good Okay, so here's our crease here, and here's our edge. So we do need to just go to the edge there. We don't want to impede anything going in to the envelope. So let's go ahead and mark this. Can I keep it straight? Can I? Can I? I'm working at it. I'm working. Okay. There we go. That aside. Alrighty. Alrighty, Odie. Okay, here we go. Now, one last one. And let's make it straight, Pam. Let's make it straight. Let's try and make it straight anyway. <laughs> yeah, that's not always easy, is it? No, it's not. Oh, I can hear the girls outside. They're having a good old time, digging around, looking for bugs and worms and whatever else they can find. They're having a good time. I hadn't been able to get them out earlier today. They were begging for it, but it was like, no, not while I'm gone. I'm very protective of them. So. I'm their chicky mama. So I take care of my girls. I filled their feeders yesterday. I usually get my husband to do it, but I thought, I want to see if I can do it because they're great big bags, you know, 40 pounders. Well, sorry, I'm a woman. I can't lift that very well. Anyway, so I got the hand truck out. And I put the bag on there and grabbed me a great big bowl and a great big plastic measuring cup. And I hand trucked it up to the, <laughs> to the front of the coop and um, opened the bag and just scooped it into the bowl and into the, <laughs> the feeders. <laughs> and it worked perfect. There was no mess. And... Both feeders are chuck full because they've just been eaten like you wouldn't believe. And so when I fill those two feeders, I have a grandpa's feeder that holds 25 pounds. And I have another, oh, I can't remember what the brand is. Another great big feeder that holds 35 pounds. Well, it lasts my girls at least three weeks or more, which is nice. Um, and I even, you know, will give them some, sprinkle it outside sometimes. Not always, but sometimes. So, yeah, they, um, they were watching me and watching me. <laughs> But, yeah, I was pretty proud of myself after I did that. <laughs> Yay. <huh? laughs> okay, let's see here. Um, I think I will go with uh, this one here because it has a little bit of the strawberries and a little bit of the stripe from the outside. 
All right, let's do our usual thing here now. Now let's see if I can get this. Okay. Yeah, I was just having a problem only because I was trying to use the other side of the ruler. Durr. Yep, that's me. Backwards. Backwards, Sally. Okay. Feels good to be on video with you guys. Um, just to visit and and laugh, cry, whatever. <laughs> it feels good. I I enjoy this so much, and I enjoy you hanging out with me and um, yeah hopefully you're enjoying the video and if you haven't subscribed yet but you like the the video um, and you want to see more then go ahead and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you know that my videos uh, what you'll know when they come out I typically oops typically do videos Tuesdays and Saturdays. I'd like to increase that a day, but I'm not quite up for it yet. Um, so I need to I need to be up for that before I can commit to it. And almost there, not quite. Um, it's just some stuff that I have to deal with on my own. Okay, here. Alrighty. I am loving this paper. It is so cool. In fact, I had gotten another pad of it. Oh, sorry about that. That is the noisy dryer. When it goes off, it wakes the dead. <laughs> we didn't know the dryer was going to do that until we got it and did our washer load. And we're like, oh, okay, cool. That, that's great. And threw it in the dryer. And I happened to be in there. And everybody was here because it was delivered while everybody was here uh, for my mom's. Um, memorial and all that and anyway <laughs> scared me half to death I was just like I was almost on the ceiling like a cat with the claws it's like ah and yeah I was like oh my gosh and it it lasts so long too that's the crazy thing it just keeps going and keeps going it's like stop and it does it like about five or ten minutes before it ends. Oh, there it goes again. Or about, yeah, here it goes again. Yes, yes. And then it shuts down. So it's like, good, please shut down. I beg of you. So I'm almost done here and then I'll go take care of it. But yeah, that thing scares you half to death when it goes off. <laughs> ah, okay, one more piece. One more piece. And I think it will be this one here. Okay, let me move this scrap out of the way. I have all kinds of nice scraps for collaging. I have a older Medicare book <laughs> that um, I want to use the pages for collages. I won't put anything on the back, but I want to collage on the, you know, the face of the page and use that. I had one collaged page and then didn't get back to it, but I used that page already so it's like man this is nice having this i thought i was going to have to do a master board and lo and behold i have that in there it's got glue stuck on me so yeah i was uh pretty pretty happy about that one 
Okay, here we go. Let's go ahead and do the bottom. Get that taken care of. That looks pretty straight. All right, kick it across. And we'll just keep a system going on here. Oh yeah, cute, cute. And then take it up to, let's see, here, I think right about there. Is that about right? No, that's not quite enough. Um, I need to go this way. Okay. I want to see if that's plenty there, and then I'll fold it better, a little bit more. I don't want to get that in the way. Straighten it, and then I'll see if yep, that will work. That will work. Get this inked up and put that on and yeah it's just a hair over an hour sorry guys um, too much blabbing I guess having too much fun so I'll get this stuck down and then our next video will be decorating it how's that and that way I won't keep you any longer. Eh? See, it dries really fast. Okay. Erg. Here we go. Okay. Should work now. Yep. There we are. I knew it was going to take a while to get it, oh, come on, to get it covered, um, but wow. Okay, so yeah, I will just get this down and then let you guys go. Okay, so we have flap, 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 envelope flapper. Yay. Okay, guys, I'm going to let you go, and I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you again on Saturday, and you guys have, or Tuesday. <laughs> I'll see you guys on Tuesday. This is Saturday. Oh, my goodness. Okay. You guys have a good weekend and see you on Tuesday. Bye now.